Remember when they hate me? Didn't think we made it? Not everything they used to look at me. Remember when I called you? And you didn't fall through. Now you in your face. What's good with y'all? Aight! So, what are we getting into today? I need to rush through this because my battery is at 0% right now. So, today what y'all about to be saying is y'all about to be getting the update on the CTSV, but there's gonna be some clips that I'm gonna show y'all before we get uh, currently caught up today of an update that I forgot to add into another video because it was getting so long, I decided to separate it and make it a completely separate video. So, all right, camera did die. So, um, right now, like I was saying, I think I was telling y'all, that I have a couple updates for y'all beforehand, and then we're gonna get uh, currently caught up to date. So we are approaching the end of the CTSV, uh, CTSV build. I, I wanna say maybe after today, all that's gonna be left is uh, Mountain Magnuson. So the next video after this video, probably you no, know, because we're uh, we're kinda out of order. But once y'all see the Magnuson going on, y'all know we're at the end. So uh, with that being said, we're gonna be jumping in a Turbo Rado and heading that way. I'm so sorry, I literally haven't even drove this thing and gave y'all the update. I promised I was gonna be driving this for y'all, getting some pulls and all that stuff in here and I just haven't had the time to do it. So sometime this week, I promise y'all, I will get y'all uh, you know, a whole overview of the truck since we've done all the shit to it and it's making the most power it's made since I've had the truck. And I know you guys have been looking for that update. So I'm gonna try to get that for you this week, throw cameras on it, drive it around and you know, chit chat. But Let's get into that update, and then I'll be back with y'all once we get to the shop. All right, y'all, I'm just getting back to the house. 350Z right here, everything's good. What's up, how you doing? So yeah, man, we're about to be uh, shaking. Next on the list is I gotta go drop off these headers over to my guy Josh, so he can uh, continue with the CTSV stuff. And I also need to go to ATP while I'm out there. I need to get a gasket for the turbo feed. It is uh, leaking a little bit, so I'm gonna get a gasket for that. I'll probably seal that up later on. Uh, but yeah, let me load this stuff up and then I'll be back with y'all once we get to Josh's, man. Well, figure while I was out here dropping off parts. Dropping off all those parts, man. Link up with bro real quick. Yeah. Come grab some food. Good. You know, I ain't got nobody yeah. cooking for me now, so I gotta be eating out and ain't got time to make no food, so. We at the good new down spot. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man, this chicken is hidden. This fool did the, <laughs> he did the basic, he be playing it safe. He was like, let me get them gar garlic noodles with some sriracha. Sriracha, sriracha. Cha, 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 cha. <laughs> this ceramic coat, or are they gonna change colors to the? They'll change colors. They'll change. Wow. I should've got them coated. Two inches, yellow. huh? It's not bad for two inches. That's what she said. <laughs> so you got the fucking, uh, the, the, what? No, I'm not gonna like that too. Let's see. I was gonna say, I thought this fucking was different. Uh. Oh, yeah. The They're right there. Off road pipes? I mean, I mean this is an off road. I mean, cats? This is an off road vehicle. <laughs> it will not be on the streets. It has catalytic converters. Yep, yep, it, it sure does. Like, it comes with like, like yep. a little fucking sure Cali legal one. Oh, all stock. All stock. Factory cats. <laughs> Man, do you see a difference with these two inches or or nah? Yeah, it's just better for a, high, a bigger power. What you mean? What you mean two inches? Two inch uh, collectors uh, or uh, primaries. primaries? You mean prime, wait, the main ones? The, the each pipe. What's the fuck am I? Uh, what is seven eighths? Little guys. <laughs> Why'd you tell me while he was here? <laughs> <laughs> so if I could, now he's like, bro, I got exchangers? 20, 20 on you. Yeah, so removing the heat exchangers. It was just kind of, it was a little bit easy since everything was missing. <laughs> oh, damn, don't say it like that. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> he really sold you a lemon. <laughs> it was just gone. This, you see how that, you see how that this, thing was in there? Dude, zip tie right here. Yeah. So you brought me the that other piece right there, so I'm gonna mount it up to this, and then I just got some bolts. I'll just put some nice bolts that match. 
Bro, I ordered all this stuff. I'm still waiting on the ducting to come. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna call and then them. The bottom pieces too. Yeah, I'm gonna call them. The I forgot the technical name on it, but I never had to order it before. Well, actually, I did for my car because that fucking tire. So this is where the uh, where's the pump go or that the new reservoir? So the reservoir goes right in here, right here in this little cubby. Right here. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So expansion tank here. So it'll go from the Magnuson outlet to the uh, top, and then at the bottom of the hose, we'll push back over into the heat exchanger. From this heat exchanger, and we'll all go the way through. to the new heat exchanger, exit there, and then uh, down into the pump, and then the pump will, will push it up. Oh, I'm sorry. It goes pump to here. My bad. Oh, today. Wait, you forgot about the other exchanger. So you said from one, here. Right, so this one is for the radiator. So this expands your radiator. Oh, okay, so okay. this one cools the engine coolant. This one cools the supercharger. Supercharger, supercharger radiator, radiator to radiator, and then this is your AC condenser in the year. Gotcha. Uh, trans cooler. Gotcha. So, so yeah. Huh, so learn something new. Yeah, so I'm working on that right now. But uh, yeah, just melted some nice access holes. <laughs> Make it look clean. And then afterwards, you <laughs> see how that bracket's back on? You can't even see the access holes. They just cover them back up. Huh. It's just easier than trying to take all the plastics off, just access holes, and then just split her open. And then slide it out. And Use two fingers when you split her, or what? Yeah, that's right. Sometimes three, depending on how cochina they are. Sometimes they're super cochinas. Yeah, this is my beginning. We're going to put a jank full of janky protecting the... Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Okay, Ooh, got you. Cool. Got you, sweetheart. Oh! Oof. Oof. Love it when it pops like that. What's that D stand for? Damn. <laughs> <There's> D's nuts! <laughs> <laughs> Next time you got to spit on it, bro. Hey, you should have seen when you put the holes right there. That was healthy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I made it look really pretty. He has us down to a T. Yeah. Cause I can build a. I, he was like mentally building a V. He was like, I'm like. <laughs> he was telling me. He was telling me what was left. He was like, had his eyes closed. He was like, I gotta, I gotta connect the cam sensor. I gotta make sure the lines. I'm like, all right, bro. I'm like. I get, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get it. I get it. I get. I get deep into it. What the drugs? <laughs> Blow that out, bro. Oh, uh, Black Aaron yeah, does they, drugs. They're gonna fucking. They're gonna fucking demonetize you. It's legal. It like is. in California. I don't know. Hey, let them watch hey Aaron, that. Aaron just had that shit on the plane. <laughs> like, you brought this shit on the plane next to me? <laughs> hey, the tickets were in my name? <laughs> hey, I'm still waiting to know how he got him I in there. I threw it in your bag because you don't smell. <laughs> the cliffhanger. How'd he get him here? Right? <laughs> I'm still waiting on the cliffhanger. He still ain't told me. Well, like, you definitely got to exit out that part. Better <laughs> <laughs> Delete that part. Oh, shit. <laughs> Earth. So Josh said this is the biggest condenser you can get on here. Uh, or heat exchanger. exchanger. Don't correct me. I'm correcting it. Sorry, sir. Uh, Jinx, you owe me a soda. Okay. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I'll do whatever you want, puppy. I don't like when you talk Spanish. <laughs> oh, that's hey. This is hella bigger than the, uh, the stock one, though. Uh, yeah, we can compare it real quick. Thickness, too. Thickness and length. Chris sounding real sus. Yeah, I was about to say, he's a it's little getting, sus, guys. It's getting real ditty around here. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> getting real ditty. Hey, nice try, Ooh. ditty. And it just got me wet, too. Fuck. Bruh. God, damn it. <laughs> I can't script this shit. He can't. I can't script this. Oh, yeah. We're right. good. Look at the thickness, too. Yep. Usually the and extra is thicker, out. but no, in this case, it's the aluminum one that's thicker. Extra three inches. <laughs> extra three inches, baby. You know how much does dyno that? 370 horsepower. Yeah. Yes. What the? Fuck? Lemon. <laughs> Lemon. Why? It's cool. Them numbers are gonna look overly inflated now. The, the, no, the, the pump, the water, the water, water cooler so it just was dead. Up. So it was just. There was some, I literally unplugged the supercharger and there was no cool. Nothing came out. Oh it was god. Just empty. So it was I'm surprised up. the supercharger didn't melt. I know, right? Did it? No. No, no. no. Still boosting. When it's cold. When it's cold, yeah. When it's cold, it, it makes boost because the car doesn't know anything. It's just looking at IET. IET's IET. It doesn't uh -oh. know it has water in it or not. So, anyway. Man, that's going to look good. Three new coolers, all that. Ooh. Yeah, right here, too. Peep. 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 Baller. Bum, bum. 
Let's we'll show the the, commu like the community. It's gonna be like tucked. Cool it's gonna be tucked in there. Yeah, that's how you like to do it. Tuck it. Boom. And then yeah, it basically bolt right here. And then there's a little expansion plug that bolts right there. And then it goes from pump to here, from here back to the cooler, from the cooler to the next cooler, then up to the magnuson. And then yeah, it's just really nice. That uh, an extra gallon and a half to two gallons. And that's tucked away. And then, yeah, and the blower runs cooler too, and it's got no pulley on it. Man, it's about to be fun. For now. Yeah, for now. For now. So we're gonna. We're about to accidentally make like nine hundred at least. Oh, minimum tops. Uh, planet safe. Planet safe. Planet no, safe. Man. This thing's gonna be so nasty. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's gonna be a whole lot. I get a Bill Trans behind this thing. It's gonna be my fastest car, especially when we do like a four sixteen. Honestly, we probably want to do a 416. Just want to do a forge, forge bottom in. We'll do, yep, we'll do, we'll do something nice. I had a couple of little tricks in my, in my mind. Hey, Josh. Did yeah. you ever take out those bananas out of his? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's gonna, okay, he's gonna right? ask the, he's gonna ask the dude that does nothing but Chevys about yeah, a fucking okay, Cadillac. Right? Or he's gonna, no, it looked great. You did an amazing job. He's asking the yeah, Chevy he guy about a he Hellcat. He didn't say the car looked great. Though. Yeah. <laughs> just not a Dodger. I've, but look. I've, had, I've raced red eyes. Yeah. He had a red eyes, waxed it. I've raced three red eyes, waxed wax it. it in my stock zeal wood. You got to paint it, everything. Just bled all the cooling system, got everything right. Look. Did he bap it again? Yes. You lying. Totally. Where's That's the picture? Four hours. There's no picture. <sighs> that sucks. He got gone. Did you get paid at least? That's all that matters. All that you matters. did your part and got paid. I wish there was a third time to fix it. Man, why that one black? Man, I want all shiny, shiny coolers up front. <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully it's not. We need a red up can. It's like they're like, we need this to match this. Uh-huh. That would have been cool all of them. I know. I need you to bee blast that. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just hit it with the thinner and just buff it for like 20 hours. Uh -huh. All right, on to the last heat exchanger right here. This little guy's the last one. Then the heat exchangers are all swapped up on there with the big tree. Maybe a little, but. I was good, my peeps. What a long day. So remember I told you I was an hour drive. Well, turns out it was an hour and 50 minutes to get back home. So I was in traffic for stupid long. But we are back home, man. Uh, sucks because I went all the way to ATP and uh, they had a malfunction with their system so they couldn't charge any cars, couldn't take cash or anything, couldn't, couldn't do nothing, so I couldn't get the parts I needed, but I ended up just ordering them off the website, so they're supposed to be here on Saturday. So yeah, just gotta wait for that, that way I can mess with the uh, Turbo Coupe. Definitely the Clean 350Z, but we'll deal with all that later. Uh, I guess right now what I'm gonna end up doing is just somebody just do some cleaning up around the house. I wanna fix this freaking wire that's been hanging for like the last month and a half, so. I'm gonna get that situated, and I also have this crazy ass weed right here <laughs> that's just been growing its life away. So I'm gonna get my, my shovel, dig this thing all the way out, and literally just start start cleaning up. I think my little sister's supposed to be coming up here today or tomorrow, help me with Granny because I'm literally about to turn up on the vlogging and shit. So you know, I definitely got a lot of going on. I got a lot going on. A lot of y'all already know the situation with me and, me, me and Nita, uh, no longer together. She's actually not even here. So I told her to just, you know, take my uh, my daughter for right now. My daughter's with me with the last couple of days. Uh, and she was like, oh, I miss my baby. So I was just like, you know what? Uh, come get Kaya. We'll figure out what the fuck we're gonna do. But, you know, it's it's a lot. So I got a hell of shit going on. Um, yeah, dealing with, dealing with my, my pup, Kimbo. I got Granny here, who's like been back and forth to the, to the hospital lately. Just hella, hella shit, man. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have her come over just kind of help me with some stuff around the house help me uh, talk like help me watch my granny Also tell my auntie like yo, I need I, I need help I need somebody to come out here and help me with this shit cuz I'm so tired of doing all this stuff on my own So yeah, we got uh, a lot of figuring out to do man a lot of changes coming I definitely want to just start vlogging more. I really need to just stay Distracted so my way of distracting myself with everything is just doing car content just doing cars having fun and just staying busy, just messing with stuff. I might just order, I may possibly even order more tools. Like, order more tools and start working on shit again. Like, certain things I miss, just wrenching and doing some of that stuff, man. So, so much of the channel is becoming 
like I feel like it's starting to operate so much like a business. I'm like, all right, I gotta keep this car running for, for content. It has to, car has to be running to stay on the channel. So cars are always going. Granted, like there's money coming in, but money's always going out. Like the overhead and shit is crazy. So kind of want to get back to some of the basics on just, just wrenching on my own stuff. Like, you know, anybody that knows, if you're a gearhead, bro, it's like therapy. Some Sometimes when you don't have nothing else to do, you want to just stay distracted, you just get out there and wrench. You know, something's broken, you fix it. Once you get it all back together, you feel accomplished. Even though you're frustrated and mad while you're in the car, but when it's all done, you're like, all right, cool. I saved some money and had to pay somebody to do this shit that I could have done. And it's a lot of stuff that goes on that I could do, but I drop it off at shops because it's like, oh, you know what? I could drop it off at the shop and then come pick it up and it'll already be done. And I could be making a video on this car. Whereas, you know, I do kind of miss it. So hopefully I can get some help around this from a uh, family with, with granny and all the other stuff. And then, you know, figure out what me and Nita are about to be doing while, about our daughter and our other daughter that's on the way. So yeah, for the peanut gallery, like, oh, you took the car from Nita and all this. Honestly, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. She took the Versa because she was bringing Kaya back. So if Kaya's gonna be here, I'm gonna need the car, obviously. So if everybody's like, "Oh, you you took the car," like, hell no. I made that plain, clear to her that regardless if we're not gonna be together, whatever happens, I'm always gonna make sure that she is taken care of because my daughter is gonna see that. So regardless of what happens, uh, when she comes, I think last time she came, she had her, her brother's wife's car, so. Uh, she put the car seat in there, but like I don't care about the Kia. So if she needs the Kia, she can literally come take the Kia. Whatever is gonna keep my daughter comfortable. That's all I care about uh, at the end of the day. So for those, like, oh you you taking like hell no. Like that's there's no hate. There's no hate. There's no love loss. Like it ain't it ain't nothing like that. So for the peanut gallery, like no, it ain't we hate each other type shit. Just... All right, now that y'all all caught up. Pulling up, my guy Joshies. Hola. Hola, como estas, papi? Muy bien, papi. <laughs> goodies for you, goodies for you. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. All the him. Oh, we oh. getting ready, huh? There it is. When is this going on? Tomorrow? Tomorrow, yes, sir. Oh yeah, I'm popping up. Yeah, it's Sunday. I <laughs> know. Oh, tomorrow. Monday. We're firing it up. Today's today's Sunday. Yeah. Oh my bad. Sorry, I, I haven't had coffee or anything. I just <laughs> got up. Yeah, J Josh was partying like he was in Miami with you last night. Damn, stay. They still on the Miami shit. Damn. Damn. <laughs> yeah, had my little forty-two last night. Relaxed. Oh, you weren't partying like us then. We had no, the forty-two. No, no, no. We had no, the no. crown, and we had the Don Julio. Okay. Make Joshy act a fulio. Uh huh. <laughs> um. So the update. <laughs> Here we are. I know, um, chugging. Yeah, so all the coolers were on last time you were here. Radiator, or, uh, transmission coolers mounted the right way now. Not <laughs> horizontally. No zip ties? No zip ties, it's actually <laughs> really nice now. Uh, all three uh, coolers, the fender tank's done. Uh, I already pre-bled it too with some distilled water. Um, so that's already pre-bled, it's filled up. Your pump is down here too. The new pump. The new ski guy. The new ski. So we're gonna have air intake temps approaching 200 degrees. You no, know, and I have a little <laughs> bit of extra sauce that I'm gonna do to the blower too to keep the IATs in check too. Perfect. Yep. Um, port injection's done. I sent you a photo of that. I already pinned the, the, the reflex computer. It's all plugged in, it's all wired in. Uh, we got here um, wide band. Wide band's already done. Wide bands already wired in. Oh yeah, that's the new ski stuff that we're doing. Yeah, yeah, because the, the reflex needs to see uh, air fuel so it could compensate for fueling, <clears throat> just in case if, if it goes lean or something happens. So, so, the so basically what, what it does is it, it almost makes the stock computer closer to a standalone. It allows it to have correction values, basically. Correct, Yeah. and yeah, and there's a lot of features the reflex box can do, like boost control. I mean, there's a bunch of crazy stuff you can really get intricate with it, but again, this is just the family car. <laughs> this is just the family car. This is the cruiser. Okay, this is the cruiser. 100%, this is fully, 100%. We, we're fully doing this build around literally being able to daily drive it, just comfort, no crazy chop, no wild stall. 
Like it's gonna make power, but it's still gonna drive like stock. Correct. That was 100% the goal for this thing. Yep, and all that pressure's on our man, Jason, which is coming tomorrow <laughs> to flash the car. So he said he'll be here around one or two o'clock tomorrow to fire it up. Perfect. So that's that's the timeline tomorrow uh, for firing up the car. So uh, plugs, okay. wires, coil relocations, Mighty Mouse catch can. He, they had sent a straight fitting and another straight fitting. And I don't know why they did that. So me having the inventory of AN fittings that I have. So I did a nice little um, 45. 45 and a 45 like this. A little bit smoother transaction. Um, transition. <laughs> he's, he's already thinking about getting paid. He's like, uh, transaction? <laughs> <laughs> when is that going to hit my account? <laughs> uh, uh, there, and there it is. Um, uh, the DMS 160 thermostat with the billet housing. Um, the other the other relay here is for my low side fuel system that I do. Hmm. Uh, it's basically hob switch, 10 PSI. And then I basically, I literally make the entire fuel system from scratch, like the entire thing. We got dash 10 feed into the pump and then dash eight out from the pump with the check valve and then basically a dash six return. So it'll come up, it comes up right here. It's already built and done. I made every single line. So here's the dash eight feed. Here's that, the factory fuel pump is still gonna be functioning. So basically this will regulate any pressure that comes within this line. And then all the fueling, no matter if like you have a mix of 91 uh, or, or a mix of E85 or you didn't get on it and it has a little bit of 91 in here and you go under wide open throttle and the hop switch clicks the relay to fire up the pump. No matter what happens, what mix it is, I put this flex fuel sensor is the very last who, who, point who, 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 you talk, who you talking to? You talking to me or you talking to them? I'm talking to everyone. Oh, yeah. because I was about to say. I, I, I know. I, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I just like to showcase my work and just stuff like that. Because then you, you trust me, there would be some people like, oh, you got to do that. You gotta, it's like, trust me. It, everything is, is right before the flex fuel sensor. And then everything is distributed to the port. Only thing uh, that's new to me is the, uh, the port injection shit. Yeah. Okay. I'm so used to like yeah 16 injectors now that's yeah. the only thing that's like all right we're doing this but I always try to like avoid that shit that's why I never dabble into like LT cars yeah I was like hell no give me an LS right a right, port and right. direct injection shit I'm, I don't want to deal with that but it ain't that yeah. bad now they offer the plates that aren't 10 G's correct which was, <laughs> uh, which was Crawford Racing which I've installed four of those and yeah, they're about 7,000 bucks. That's without the plate or injectors. That's just the wiring harness with all the options. Uh, there's an option to go with uh, the Dominator that uh, has traction control for the, like, the C7Z06s built into the ABS. I just saw that one. That one was crazy. Hmm. That was very expensive. And then the rest of them has been the Terminator with a plug and play harness. Really nice harness, plug and play, very clean, uh, just, a lot of people don't want to spend seven to ten thousand dollars on just port injection. So no. with two high PSI teaming up with I forget who it was, but the reflex, it's been a game changer for everyone. Now everyone's making, you know, eight hundred rear wheel with just bolt ons, you know, and here we are. I don't know what what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna be nine hundred, but uh yeah, not bad. We're about uh calculate four and a half days. This is where we're at. Obviously, I'm not working on her today. I, yeah, it's I a Sunday. Family, it's a Sunday. We just, just came to drop off here. parts. Because I need this. I need the, that box first thing tomorrow morning. And then for there for the go. Maggie, the people at Magnuson, there we go. We're going to get ready to get this thing on. Yep. Got it. Uh, getting it prepped. Going to put the map sensor on. Uh, swap over the neck. What time and, you coming tomorrow? Uh, I'll should be here around 9, 930. All right, man, I got a gym session, but I'm like, Should've do I? To the guy. I'm like, do I? Maybe I'll go to the gym early so I can get here at like 10. I'll try to get here early. That's fine. Or something. That's fine. Yeah. That way I get this going on for them. But hey, look, there you go. Last no, of yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Whoop. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. But yeah, everything's pinned. Everything's wired up. It's just, this is light at the end of the tunnel. It's going to be tomorrow. I'm going to put the plates on, make all the fuel lines. Uh, basically, I'm going to do a crossover in the rear. And then I'm going to have a dash shake come straight here. I'll have a tee off here. And fuel, fuel, uh, fuel will feed into here and it'll distribute everywhere. Hmm. So every single corner, every single injector, 
and including for the high side, everyone's fed equally and happily. No capping over here, trying to jump at this, no. Just a nice, clean transition, plenty of fuel. So 16 injectors, we better have a lot of fuel, <laughs> shit. 16 injectors, like I said, we'll just, we'll do the 1400 wheel, 1400 wheel next year. We'll just, <laughs> we'll just stick with the soft like 950 this, this year. It's that's crazy mm -hmm. it's accidentally snow well i wouldn't say accidentally it was just like all right we start adding better shit it's like all right this is gonna make it more efficient this is gonna make it more efficient this is gonna make it more efficient then it's yeah. just like all right this is what every everything here so far is everything we had to do even if we were gonna do the 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 uh the 1.7 if we were gonna do the stock one everything here was was gonna happen um Got to remember too, this car went from bone stock to this, making a soft like 400 wheel <laughs> like, <laughs> to, to now it's going to make a soft like nine something, nine, nine something, nine something. It's just, it's a very unique combo, but it's going to make over 900 rear wheel easily. But yeah, we're just a pulley swap away. I'm at like the, the, watch, I'm going to be Josh's fastest V3 guaranteed. I'm taking that record. Okay. There's only 1060? We got, bro, we hella got that. 1060, yeah, that's all you have to be for. Bro, we for, got that. For V3, yeah. I've been going too crazy. These niggas too shady. Speed limit 65. I'm about to do 80. Fuck the niggas, say no.